Hi guys and welcome back to the Canadian Glam Mam channel. Glam Mam here and as you can see today's tutorial is going to be Disney's Ariel Everyday Wear Makeup Tutorial. Before I start into that I do have a couple of announcements. So I was at my local shoppers today just kind of nosing around in the beauty section as I was waiting for some things to be ready for me to pick up and I was looking at some of the cheaper versions of cosmetics that um, everybody can afford and stumbled upon some things. So I found this really neat sharpener for one. It's just a standard one. This is by Essence. But the thing I liked about it is it's got two sides of it. So it's got the regular standard lip and eye pencil and then it's got the one for the jumbo one. Which was a good thing because I picked up the NYX eye jumbo pencil in the shade 604 Milk. So this is going to be featured quite often I believe in my upcoming tutorials and I'll be using it today. I also picked up this Essence Say No to Dark Circles because you all know that I struggle with the dark circles under my eyes. I actually tried it for the first time underneath my concealer today and I'm still kind of iffy on it. I'll have to try it a couple more times before I really make up my mind. Um, I picked up this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. So I've used it with my brows, but we're not even going to talk about them because um, my brows and I got in a little bit of an argument before I started this video because <laughs> I put my foundation concealer and did my eyebrows as always for this tutorial. And for this tutorial, Ariel has very pr prominent dark brows. They're either red or brown. I've seen them both in both pictures. So I went with a darker brown not liking the look and I'm not liking the shape of my eyebrows. I do need to have them fixed and so we're just gonna roll with it for today's video. Last last thing I picked up and I know that you guys have heard me ranting about my recent Ardell's clear adhesive for my eyelashes that I wasn't too happy with. The formula was really burning my eyes so I decided I was gonna pick up a different formula today because I'm normally a very strong on Ardell products and I like their regular squeeze tube of their stuff but I couldn't find it in shoppers today so I went with the QO and it's just their regular full eyelash adhesive so we're gonna give that a try today and I'll let you know what I think when after I use it um, but a great thing that I thought was interesting that shoppers is doing um, they're gonna do it at our shoppers here on the 30th of this month from I believe she said it was 11 to 4 you can go in and have your makeup done for free by makeup artists. There's going to be a hair salon um, stylist there, so it's definitely a whole day of glam. You can book ahead and make your appointment time, or you can just do a walk-in. I'm not sure if it's going on all at the same day, but if you are Canadian and there is a shoppers near you, I would definitely get that, get in there and check that out if that's something you want to partake in. And also, when I bought cosmetics today, they were handing out these free Burberry beauty um, makeup bags. So that was an added bonus. So I thought that was really neat. That's something that you know a pharmacy is doing and where I live our pharmacy is really really small compared to a lot of the shoppers. So I assume if our pharmacy which is so small that's doing it probably some of the bigger ones are doing it as well. So you know it's a free product you get to pick out some neat cosmetics so it might be something if you guys are interested in to go and check out. So without further ado we're going to jump right into this tutorial. I've already done my foundation and concealer and I've done my eyebrows. So for this look I want to stay very natural. Um, Ariel is definitely a very um, bright, uh, sparkly kind of Disney character. She doesn't have eye, a lot of eyeshadow, if any at all, but I have seen her with um, just more of an in-depth crease look and really no, there's no, it's not like Medusa or um, Cruella de Vil or when in, they, they have a really bold eyeshadow so we're gonna do a very natural neutral look today and this is something that you can wear out on an everyday look so it's gonna be really easy breezy and fun to start off with I'm going to be starting with the Carly by Bell Pro palette um, and we're gonna do highlighter and blush first I'm not going to do any contouring or bronzing I, like I said I want to keep this a very um, natural look and this is a look that right now you can wear for spring as well it's very fresh looking so I'm going to be dipping into this highlighter right here and I'm just going to start 
lightly topping it and I'm going to dust it on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. I'm going to be taking some of this and I'm just going to lightly dust it on my cupid's bow and as well on my nose. And this is going to bring some warmth to the center and light to the center of my face and kind of give you that um, cartoony, fresh glow, a uh, very dewy, natural look. Using that same brush, I'm going to highlight the tops. I'm choosing to do my highlighter first just so that I can go really, really light on the blush. And because I don't want my blush in that to go up too high. So if I set my highlighter in first with this look, I'm hoping that it's going to keep it very fresh looking. <clears throat> so I'm just going to highlight the very tips of my cheekbones. And that way, if once I get my highlighter and blush on, I can see if I want more highlighter in certain spots to give a more um, dewy, dewy glow. Now, if you're saying to the cartoon one, you could definitely take all these steps and amp it up doing the red brows. Um, if you were going to do it for a party or a costume for Halloween or something, throw on a red wig and some seashells and pearls and you'd be good to go for a Halloween look. But I would... My idea of doing these is to keep it so you are using these Disney character looks, but it's still something you can wear every day if you wanted to. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab the lightest blush that I own. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade 10 Adorable. Now I've had this for a while. Obviously I've hit pan. Um, I don't know if you can still get this one, but I did see today that they do have similar shades. So just find a very light... Um, uh, very light pink blush for this look. Anything peachy, apricot, or um, baby pink will work. And I'm just going to lightly dust this on my cheekbones, staying away from the apples of my cheek because I have a naturally round face and I don't want to draw too more, too much more attention and make it look even more round <laughs> um, since I'm not contouring. Today I want to stay away from the apples of my cheek as much as possible. If you have a more slender face and you do want to bring some more roundness to your face, then by all means throw some on the apples of your cheek and then just blend upwards. So very simple, it's just going to give me a little flush of color on my cheeks. Now I'm going to go in and start with my eyeshadow. So again, working from the Curly by Bell palette, I'm going to grab the lightest shade. I'm going to tap off some of the excess. <clears throat> and I'm just going to gently sweep this all over my lid and go right up under my brow bone. And doing the same thing on the other eye. There's no real rhyme or reason with this. It's just making sure it's a nice even base for the rest of your eyeshadow so everything blends smoothly. Like so. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take a, oops, as soon as I can find it here, I'm going to be taking this um, nice warm brown color right here, and I'm going to be blending that in small circular motions into my crease. Grabbing just the smallest amount of product and tapping that off. Sorry, I've got something going on with my brush here for a second. And I'm just going to lightly back and forth, using a really light hand, um, press some of this color in the crease. And this is just going to give definition to your eyes.
and as you can see it's just starting to form and darken and in depth in that crease like so and repeat the same step on the other eye sorry if I was blocking the camera with my other mirror there So, next I'm going to grab the next, next darkest shade in the palette, which is the one right next to it, and do the same thing. We're going to place that in the same section as we place the other ones, and this is just going to help darken that crease just a little bit more. And just back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Really easy, nothing too difficult, like so. And just repeat the same step on the other eye. It was very natural looking and now I'm going to set this palette aside, go back with the very first brush that we used without any excess product or on it, any added product, sorry, and then just buff around the edges just to blend everything in like so, just so we don't have any harsh lines. Once we're done that, go ahead and grab a flat eyeshadow brush, something like this. This one is the um, Bocash is Paris eyeshadow brush. And the other brushes that I've been using are all from that BNH set that I purchased. And oops, I set the palette away too soon. So I'm going to be going in with this really, really pretty light shade. It's the first shimmer shade in the top row. And picking up some of that. I'm just going to pat that all along the lid. Like I said, this look is going to be really... Sorry if that's glitchy, my phone cut out again. Um, so yeah, just continue back and forth and just placing that all along your eyelid. Keeping it right underneath the crease that we just set. And repeat the same step on the other eye. Once you do that, I'm going to be using one of the new products from my Ipsy bag, this Starlux Rose Gold. And this is a cream eyeshadow. And I'm just going to press some of this right in the center of my eye and then just pat it upwards a bit with my finger. And this is just going to add highlight and dimension to the center of your eye. You can do this with a um, powder shadow as well. Just trying to keep that right in the center and that's going to help brighten, brighten the eyes. I don't want to be a hater guys, but I'm really, this is the first time trying this eyeshadow and I know I said I would try and work it in with this tutorial and unfortunately I'm not liking the way it's working, but we're just going to roll with it. And I think while that's still damp, I'm going to go in with the gold color right here grabbing some on my finger and I'm just going to press that into that cream eyeshadow just to get an extra pop 
and to kind of set the cream eyeshadow because I'm afraid it's going to spread up onto the upper lid. I don't know what it is with my eyes, but my eyes don't like taking cream shadows very well. So I tried. It's a nice product. It's a nice color. I'm going to work with it a little more just to see what I can get out of it. But as of right now, I'm not liking it too much. So we're done with eyeshadow. Um, and in most of the Disney character looks, not a lot of them have cat liner. We're going to do a simple tight waterline um, eye line look and I'm using the Rimmel Black eye, Liquid Eyeliner in the shade 001 100% Black. So I'm just going to do a very tight waterline look with this. Starting in the inner corner and I'm just going to press that as tightly as I can to my lash line. It doesn't have to be precise. We are going to hide this with our lashes. It's just kind of making a base for our lashes so that our false lashes will blend in um, more smoothly with our natural lashes. Just like so. Just to kind of give more depth finition to your um, waterline where your lashes start to grow on um, to make them more defined. So I'm going to try out this Essence on my lashes this time. This new Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara to see if I can really lengthen and fill out my natural lashes before I put on regular mascara. So I'm just going to give a quick coat to this. Now the look I'm going for with this is really doe-eyed, really sparkly, you know. In cartoons you see that sparkle that they have, the gleam in their eye that they always have in pictures and in the um, movies. And that's kind of what we're aiming for. Okay. That product went on smoothly, but it's still, I can almost see like water droplets on my lashes, so... I'm going to go ahead and apply that mascara right away and see if it makes a difference when I put it on. Surprisingly, my regular mascara is applying more smoothly than usual. It's not pulling as tough and it is helping to separate the clumps that would normally develop in my lashes. So, so far that product was a win and it did seem to hold down my eyebrows quite nicely so all right so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes and I will be right back Alright guys, we're back. I have my lashes on. So the lashes I chose today were from Shani Cosmetics again from that 10 pack kit. These are the set number one, number four. So they're more of a, hopefully you can see them, more of a very short natural look which is exactly what I was going for. They're not over dramatic or anything that um, is going to take away from the very natural look of this um, makeup tutorial. So what I'm going to do is all the Disney characters, your their eyes look awake and fresh. So we're going to use this NYX Milk Pencil and we're just going to throw a quick coat on our lower waterline. And this will help, up, help to brighten up the eyes. If you have the nude one, like more of a nude shade, you can use that as well. But for the sake that I just got this, I plan, I wanted to use this to see if it makes a difference and already I can definitely tell it's made my eyes look a lot more awake. 
and eventually that will tone down a bit. It's not going to be as bright of a white on your eyelids. <clears throat> I'm kind of enjoying it, but it's not always for everybody. So in that case, if it is too bright, I suggest going with a nude color, sort of like this Skin Cosmetics Demetri James Eye Enhancing one that I just got in my Etsy bag as well. It's a nude color. If you haven't seen my What's in My Ipsy Bag video, it's a very nude color. It will blend in. It'll make your eyes look more awake without being so drastically white. So that might be another alternative for you guys. And after filming that tutorial or that Ipsy Bag video, I did leave this on. And for the remainder five, six hours, it was still there afterwards. So I was very impressed with that one. Um, so after doing that, I'm going to just throw on a coat of mascara on my lower lashes. Like so. And last but not least, we're going to move on to the lips. Now this look all together would take me about 10-15 minutes to do if I wasn't stopping and filming and all that so it is a look that you can achieve really quickly in the morning it makes you look awake if on those tired days and it's just something nice fresh and neutral for spring that you can wear on a daily basis um, and tweak it to your personality so obviously Ariel has those iconic red lips so I will be sticking with that but I just wanted to show you some other choices that you can use you can use something like a matte Mousse lip color. This is the cherry blossom one um, that I picked up yesterday. This is by Hard Candy, and it is a this is cherry blossom. It's like a cherry raspberry color. Um, so something like that would work if you're not comfortable wearing a bright red lip. Um, something like the Tarte Wonder color, which is, again is in that raspberry tone. You could also wear a nude with this lip or a pink. You know any lip with this eye look would work but if you were trying to still stay in that um, aerial tutorial look then you can go with any of these colors and it would still work equally as nice. Um, you could use the BH Cosmetics Cream Luck Lipstick. This is in the shade TMO. This is one of my beauty haul products from that big beauty haul video so that's TMO right there. And this is another BH Product, and this is from the Color Lock line. If I can get the cap off, there we go. And this is in the shade True Heart. So, True Heart is what I'm going to use because it is, it is the brightest iconic lip that I could think of that would stick with the aerial theme. You can line your lips with red liner if you want to make it stay on, but I'm just going to throw this on quick so you can see what it looks like when it's all pulled together. Now I suggest when you're using these colors not to put a gloss on first. I already did that um, because I've been trying out different lipsticks and my lips are really, really dry. Um, so I more or less had to, otherwise it was going to look really um, chapped in the video and I wanted to avoid that. It still went on nice and smoothly, it just it tended to bleed a little bit more than usual. So this is the True Heart. If you wanted to darken it down a bit, because this is after I placed it on, it's kind of starting, I think in the camera it looks a little orangey colored rather than a bright red. So if this is too bright of a look for you, you can tone it down um, simply by adding a darker color with it. Um, let me see. I'll try some of the TMO and see if that helps darken it a bit.
yeah, TMO worked a little bit. It added some more darkness to the lip so it didn't look as orangey. So this is a very iconic red shade. At least I'm hoping that's what it's going to show off pay of color. But in person, this is iconic red. Um, so that's it. It's a very fun, fresh look. And then the last thing you need to do is just set it with a setting spray. I'm using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist 12 Hour Power. And I'm just going to do a light dust on my face. This isn't a necessary step. It's just one that I like. And I find this one, because it's a hydrating one, it adds very um, dewiness and a glow to your face, which is nice for this look. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy my twist on the Disney's Ariel um, character look. And um, for any future videos that you would like to see, please leave me comments. I love reading what you guys have to think, say and your guys' opinions on things. And remember to inspire and be inspired. See you next time, guys. Bye.